This week we combine banana flavor with smokiness in the modern recipe, there's always money in the banana stand. Stick around. Tax season. Another stressful year. You'd think there'd be something to make this easier. Well, there's always money in the banana stand. Look at these numbers. We might actually end up owing this year. We spent how much on the wedding? Oh, well, there's always money in the banana stand. Look, you keep saying that, but it's not helping. Either start making sense or give me something to take the edge off. There's always money in the banana stand. Oh. Hmm. This is the story of two home bartenders and the tiki recipes that help them forget all their worries. It's Cocktail Fridays. Well, tax day is just about here, and whether you're rushing to submit everything at the last minute or just stressing about your refund, I think we could all use a good cocktail to help us ease the frustrations of tax season. And we've got just the recipe. There's always money in the banana stand. This cocktail comes from one of our favorite cocktail books, Minimalist Tiki, and it's the product of tiki savant Zach Overman. He created it at Rob Roy in Seattle on one of their Tongaroa Roy Monday Night Specials in an attempt to mimic banana's flambe, combining the flavors of banana and smoke together. He says he added cinnamon and allspice to complement that banana flavor and also added yellow chartreuse to give it an herbal lift. Sort of like the way that absinthe sneaks its way into a lot of classic tiki recipes, bringing the final ingredients to lemon, cinnamon syrup, chartreuse, allspice dram, banana liqueur, and a peated scotch. And then, of course, it was only natural to name it after George Sr.'s famous banana stand from the amazing show, Rested Development. And so, David set about creating the banana stand, adding one ounce of lemon juice, a half ounce of cinnamon syrup, a quarter ounce of yellow chartreuse, an eighth ounce of allspice dram using St. Elizabeth. Seems almost pointless. It's not. Three quarter ounce of banana liqueur using Jaffard's. And one and a half ounces of a peated scotch using Ardbeg's Wee Beastie. He then added several ice cubes to chill, agitate, and dilute the drink. It also just sounded cool. Mm. All right, we've got our Collins glass filled with crushed ice. Let's strain it in. I'm gonna garnish this with two pineapple fronds in the back, a cinnamon stick, and for the tax man, a gold coin to sit on top. Let's stick a straw in, and there it is. There's always money in the banana stand. Let's see what we got. Wow, it really is an experience. You get the cinnamon, of course, right on the nose, and then you get the smoke hits you right in the face, right up front. Then you sort of start to get that banana in the middle, and then uh, you start to feel the syrup sort of on the back end. It's a really nice experience from front to finish. Well, that's the show. If you like this recipe, check out our other Zach Government episode where we make the Angostura Colada. And hey, please consider giving us a like and subscribing so you don't miss out on future Tiki recipes. Until then, cheers. on the next Cocktail Fridays. David discovers a modern recipe that's delicious, inexpensive, and easy to make. And then he tries to invent an original recipe by combining all of his overproof rums. I've made a huge mistake.